Okay, this uh, video is really for uh, granddad's an old man and also magnet man who replicated my last video where I had the little uh, electrostatic uh, aluminum segmented uh, motor running off of a DC pulse motor and they both replicated it uh, and uh, so I've, I've been working on this induction idea the last couple of days and one of those things you go big or go home <laughs> and this is kind of what um, granddad did was he took a, a regular north-south magnet and ran it up against a rotor and spun it up so what I've done here is I've taken one of my larger electrostatic motors that ran off high voltage and uh, what it is is it's a um, solid piece of aluminum foil inside a plastic bottle and you fire high voltage at it and uh, it rotates uh, as electrostatic but it also works rather spectacularly off of a rotating strong neodymium magnet and uh, enough to pull off power to run um, this induction uh, coil here Maggie so anyway what I've got here is just a Bedini SSG basically with a little strange configuration single transistor circuit um, bifiler winding coil, uh, single uh, magnet here, and I'll fire it up here, and this will get to running. Then I'll put this up next to it, and you'll see this start to rotate. And then I'll put Maggie up against uh, that neo magnet there, and it'll turn up a little magnet in her uh, mouth and make her eyes light up. So let's get this going. This is the driver, and it's running off a three volt battery there. And uh, there's the LED showing it's on and it's revving up. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'll just take this induction motor, electrostatic motor that works off induction. I'll get this close to that magnet there. And now this is starting to run, but it's running through lens law. It's the lens effect that... Um, that strong neodymium magnet is inducing a current in that uh, aluminum rotor and uh, rotating that through induction. This is an induction motor. Uh, very interesting and my next project of course will be to build an AC induction motor probably using this structure. But anyway now it's revved up and I'll take this over here this little friend and see if she can pull off some power. And there she goes. Now what's going on here now is this magnet here is spinning up a little magnet inside her. And here again induction because I've got a rotating magnet in a conductor field. Um, conductor. It's uh, causing a current which is being displayed by the LEDs. A rather interesting little setup I thought. But um, this was all discovered many, many, many years ago by Faraday and Lenz and those old guys uh, <laughs> that made the laws. And then uh, that's how our world runs. It runs on electricity now. And this, is, this goes back to the old, old, old masters that um, discovered this and then wrote the mathematical equations. And uh, we live by them. But anyway, this was uh, rather interesting to see this electrostatic motor being used in a different way, using the uh, magnet to rev it up through this induction effect. And there is torque to it, and that's, I think, why we use these three-phase induction motors on, on all of our stuff, and including, uh, I believe, Tesla's car. The Tesla is, a, is an induction motor. They run it on AC, and uh, like I say, that's probably my next project, is to try to build a... Uh, and then a real AC induction motor. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for the replications.